Well, here I am in Saskatoon, down by the river, and uh, as you see, it's flowing in a direction. And so we have this job of art mission, my life, and Laura's life. I want to tell you a little bit about Laura Lazaro and the kind of person she is, because she has inspired me and. I've bought into who she is and what she wants to do for Peru in a big way. So much so that I've, for the last seven years almost now, have totally changed my life and uh, worked so hard giving more than half my time and money to uh, talk about our mission and what Laura is doing in Peru. And I hope that you will see the kind of person she is too. <clears throat> in fact, uh, so much so that I, I want to marry her that's another story. Uh, Laura has always had a huge heart for her, the Peruvian people and I came to see this very early on in our relationship because uh, she told me stories of the time she worked as the personal secretary for the president of Peru and how she was able to find people who uh, were caught in between the system, uh, were falling through the cracks and needed help from some friendly person in power. And Laura went out of her way consistently and time and time again to help those in need. She shared with me the idea of having a Christmas dinner for people on the streets of Lima. You know, in, in Lima, uh, it's never that cold, according to Canadian standards anyways. And uh, people would survive on the streets and on Christmas Eve, wander around hungry. And Laura thought, this is this is a tragedy. You know? And she wanted to do a Christmas Eve dinner. And I, I kind of thought she was nuts. <laughs> because who wants to go out on Christmas Eve and serve dinner to, to homeless people? But Laura thought, this is really the best indication or demonstration of God's love for other people. Because he, he did a similar thing in sending his son. And so, uh, yeah, that's how we got started in Chocolate Bar Mission. Laura is, uh, how can I put it, uh, the most selfless, the most dedicated person I've ever known uh, for serving God and helping other people. Uh, she consistently puts the needs of others, including my own, uh, for those who have no power, for those who have uh, a lot of need and need help. And for this, I love her. She uh, is always asking for my help and for your help, not for herself, not for me, but for people who have no voice, women who struggle with being uh, raped consistently by family members, uh, women who have to go out all night and uh, waitress so that there are three kids at home who are all suffering with muscular dystrophy can have food. Uh, these are, I'll tell you one story. One time Laura was uh, at home and three kids, three young boys came to the door and wanted to clean her house. And she asked, why would you want to do that on a Saturday? And, uh, and, and they said, well, we want to clean your house so we can have something to eat. And she welcomed them in, made them a big meal and uh, and then let them go <laughs> to go out and play like three young boys should on a Saturday. It's hard for me to explain the differences between Canada and Peru. And you know, uh, we live in a very fantastic place, a great country. We are so lucky to be born here. We have no idea what goes on in, in developing nations. No idea. I could go on and on about the comparisons, but all I need to say is we have someone who, is, who lives uh, in Peru, who is a native Peruvian, who speaks the language Spanish, who has contacts there, connections with government, with organizations, with hospitals, with people, and is ready to serve and is serving every day to show God's love in action. And, and you and I, like, we're, we're outsiders. We can't really have the kind of impact that someone like Laura can. Now, she needs us. 
because her arms are only so strong. She needs uh, help, and that's what we can do. That's what I've been doing for almost seven years. It's building a, a mission with her to reach the people of Peru, to raise them out of poverty and, um, and dependence, and give them a better life, and help them find faith. Right now, we need more people to get involved with us. We're just uh, overwhelmed with uh, what we can do. And God is helping us, for sure. We're already doing beyond what we, as two people, could do. And some of you have joined us, and we're so, so thankful for that. But we need more partners. I'm sorry, but the job is too big for us. So, um, get to know Laura. Get to know her heart. Uh, she is an amazing woman of God and uh, wants only to serve God with her whole life. She needs your help and your prayers today. Thank you.